Hey there, this is Jonathan, and in the following set of tutorials, we're going to take a look at DVD production with the Adobe Creative Suite Production Premium. Um, I usually call it the Production Premium Suite. Anyway, I'm going to click on that, and let's go and take a look at um, what's here. By the way, you should definitely watch that video. It's really good. Um, uh, what we're going to be using are going to be the tools of this suite, and we're going to use Encore, which is their DVD editing tool. It's the DVD structure tool. Um, then we have Photoshop for doing our menus and Adobe After Effects for working on our menus as well. You'll see a, a really unique workflow there. And then even Adobe Media Encoder for encoding our video to the right size to bring into our DVD. Now, you can learn a lot about creating DVDs um, very quickly. It's very easy to create a DVD. What's really kind of difficult is developing all the assets for the DVD. Now, to learn about Encore, um, you can always go to Adobe TV. You can find some really good tutorials. You'll notice that you really don't have a lot of tutorials here compared to looking at tutorials for Photoshop or Illustrator. It's just because this is a really, um, I guess, uh, focused tool. It, it makes DVDs and Blu-rays, and it doesn't do a whole lot of other stuff. At least you really shouldn't do a whole lot of other stuff with it. But um, you first want to also dive into the workflow and workspace basics of Encore. That's one of the things that I think is most important. Now I found this on the Adobe website as well and I really like it because it shows us a very simple diagram of planning our project. And You'll see that we have these um, menus right here and then we have timelines and that's basically all you get with Encore. You get timelines and you get menus. Now, menus are all the things that you come to where you can interact and you can go to the next page, the previous page, or you can open up a video and play it. A video is something that you just watch the video and when it's done, you have to have something else that happens. Um, when it finishes, like you'll see this video here, it can go back to the main menu that it came from, or it could even possibly go to a next video and play a series of videos, like a playlist. Now, when you have a menu, you can link from any menu to any other menu, and you can even link to um, a menu set, which is basically just a bunch of menus together that act like um, maybe information screens. Maybe you find out information about the actors or something like that. But with this basic structure of just menus and timelines, you have a lot of interactivity that you can do with a DVD. Now, um, you can find out more about um, the different tools, I guess, or how these flowcharts look by actually using the tools built into Encore, and that's called the flowchart tool. Now, the problem with the flowchart tool, though, is that you have to bring all the assets in before you can actually see the results of this tool, because you have to link everything together. But there is one thing that I want you to notice. The very first thing that we start off with is the DVD um, itself and that says this is the first play so the very first thing that happens is that this is going to go to the home menu then I have one two three four buttons on the home menu and that's going to link to movie one movie two movie three and movie four now at the end of movie one two and three and four it looks like it's going back to the home menu but it's kind of not you know, it doesn't look that way to me. I'd rather see a little arrow that goes back to that. Or just, you know, just goes to that and maybe just a little arrow here that says, go back. But it doesn't seem smart for me, to me, for this to have an icon next to it that is the same thing as that. So um, let's take a look at it in, um, actually in Encore itself. Here's the same thing, first play. This one actually has a video to begin with, and you can see they have a little video timeline icon there, and then this one has a menu icon. But if you look at the two of these, they're the same shape. And to me, that doesn't really make sense. Um, so I'm going to show you a way to, to draw your icons so they look a little bit better. Now, lots of other people have drawn um, flowcharts, and this is really what you want to do. You want to create a flowchart such as this before you ever even go into Encore. Encore is the last step in this entire project. And 
in order to actually make a functioning DVD out of all the assets that you've developed takes only really a few minutes. You can do it in five or ten minutes. You can make an entire DVD once you've got all the assets ready to go. So we're going to take a look at um, creating a flowchart first though that makes a little bit more sense. Now instead of going to some wireframing tool I'm just going to go to, I use a Chrome extension called Vector Paint. I think it's really easy. Just click on it and this is the tool. Um, first thing that we're going to have is our DVD. So I'm going to create a little DVD icon here at the top. That is my first little um, icon. Now the next thing I'm going to do is start creating menus and timelines. So here is a menu. We'll just draw a little rectangle. And then how about a timeline? That's going to be a timeline. So obviously a menu is kind of a, a rectangle and a timeline is a really really slender rectangle. That way it's very easy to tell one from the other. Now sometimes you can actually put an animated background on a menu. So all I do is just add a timeline to a menu. So there you go. Make it the same width just about. If it's not exactly perfect who cares. But now you can see that it is a timeline that's attached to that menu. And so I know now that that's going to have an animation. Now to look at creating our structure we've got a lot of different ways that we can do it. Now once we've got two basic shapes we can pretty much just duplicate this control C control V and we can make all the shapes that we need whoops control C V so there's right now I've got all these menus I'm gonna put those menus side by side there's another menu and here are my timelines so um, when you open a DVD sometimes they go from you know the first thing that you see is like an opening animation or trailers or something like that so we could actually put um, some sort of animation at the beginning and that's all I'm gonna put here I'm just gonna link from that to that now I'm gonna link from that oops I'm gonna link from that over to the other object there we go guess that'll work. It's not perfect. I'd love it to be in the end, but we get the idea, at least. So it says now let's start with a movie, and then we're going to go to this timeline. We could move it over there. We could move it over a little bit. So now we know go to that timeline first, then play this menu. Now this menu will have an animated timeline, animated background, so I'm going to put that on there. And now I'm going to have, um, let's see, I'm going to have a couple other videos here. So this right here is a single video. This one right here I'm going to use to indicate a playlist of videos. So it's pretty easy to tell what happens. Now we'll have one little menu in here so if we want we can draw some stuff in here and I actually you know draw that little draw that draw that so that indicates our menu items this indicates our title something in there um, you know I could have maybe another little icon down there for linking to something doesn't really matter and you know I actually like this tool because why not just link that over there and then I can say yay I'm gonna go back every once in a while I'll have that and actually it might even be better to draw it down here so that says go back and this says click on that so that will be um, oops I, I want this one to be changed I'm gonna link that over to here so now we know that that item goes over to this playlist or that timeline goes back that item goes to that playlist and then goes back and then this item right here is actually going to go to a series whoops I can probably draw that a little bit faster and better. There we go. That item is going to go to a series of menus. And when that's done, it's going to go back. So if we want to draw little lines in between. Now this is going to have um, a screen here and some text. That's going to have a screen there and some text. Screen here and some text. So we see that those are basically the same. And then each of these is going to have some sort of arrow. 
and that will have an arrow that goes that way, and then this one will have an arrow that goes that way. Now I'm drawing this, you know, with my mouse, so it doesn't look great. But this basically says go next, previous, or next, or previous. Now we could move those down. Maybe it'd be better for all of those to be, you know, low, lower on there, so we can put them down at the bottom, which might be nice. And we can have a little link at the top. That's our little home link. That doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be accurate enough that we can really tell what's going on. Now, it could be that we have um, this one going to a menu that has a bunch of video thumbnails, because I'm not really showing video thumbnails. So let me uh, go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll add one more for video thumbnails. So that's going to go to my video thumbnails. I'm going to get rid of this guy, because I really don't know what it's for. I haven't decided. So I'm going to copy that, paste it out here. You know, if we have some issues where things are crossing each other, we, you know, it's something we just have to deal with. Um, so that's going to go over to here. All right. Now, this one is going to have some video thumbnails. So I'm going to just draw those a little bit nicer than I did before. We're used to seeing these on DVDs, right? I'm sure you've seen plenty of it where you, plenty of these where you have like the ability to click on a um, scenes or something like that. And now each of these could go to timelines just like those do. Each one could be linked to a timeline, and um, we could also have one that says play all, and that's once again a playlist. So I'm just using this software really quickly to. Um, make a DVD structure, make it more obvious than some of these other flowcharts, because this to me is not absolutely obvious. Now, if the main menu was a better shape and then it had these underneath, um, that would make sense to me that that's that I could really tell the difference between a menu and a um, timeline, and and that's what I tried to do when I was doing this. So, th the thing about um, doing this part of it, the the um, wireframe, is that you know exactly what um, menus that you're going to create and you know exactly what assets you need to bring in. You know how many videos you're going to have, you know how many menus you're going to have, you know what graphics you need to have, you know where those graphics are going to go, you know what they're going to do. And that's so important when you're going into creating a DVD. I mean absolutely essential. So um, look into this a little bit more. You might want to go ahead and go through the Encore uh, videos um, just to help you understand how it works and then go back and plan a DVD. Now the DVD we're going to be planning is a very simple um, movie trailers DVD. So we're going to be doing that in the next tutorial. So stop here and take a look at Encore and then go on.